Good morning, everyone. Today, I'm making bento for my daughter. I usually、uh, make one for my wife as well, but she doesn't need one today. So, I'm just going to prepare for my daughter only. I usually cook a plain rice, just a white rice, but today I'm making something special. I'm making a rice with、uh, salmon and young ginger. Okay, this is salmon. We call it shake. I'm gonna use a fish tweezer to take out the bones. When, if you use a cup of water like this, it's easy to manage bones. Add some salt, both s i d e and I'm gonna just put it in the fridge for 10 minutes or so. This is young ginger. We call it shin shoga. We see this、uh, young ginger on the market only during the harvest season. And they are juicier, softer, and less spicy than mature ginger. And we use this young ginger to make、uh, pickled ginger. We call it gali for sushi. And the ginger farmers store young ginger in the storage for a few months to make a mature ginger. And mature ginger is spicy and has strong ginger flavor. And we use it for stir frying or simmering the fish or meat. So I kept the fish in the fridge for 10 minutes. And because of the salt, Fish is sweating, and taking out this liquid from the surface reduces the fishy smell. Before adding the fish into the rice, I'm gonna add dashi stock powder, which is made with dry flying fish, dry sardine, dry kelp, and dry bonito. And this is additive free. Add rice wine, which is a nihonshu or sake, sweet rice wine, which is h o m e m i r i m and a light color soy sauce, which is uskuchi shoyu. I could use a dark soy sauce, but I don't want to make the rice too dark, so I use the light soy sauce. And finally, I'm gonna add ginger, and ginger will add very nice aroma to the rice. And add the fish on the top and set it to the rice cooker for the same duration as plain white rice. Next, I'm going to make a tofu patty with an imitation crab meat. This is a Japanese leek, we call it naganegi. Just cut into slices, small pieces. And this is hard tofu. And this tofu is called Mizukiri dofu. That means that the water is already drained. So you see that it looks very hard. I'm going to smash them into a ball. This is the imitation crab meat. We call it kanikama. And this is adjective free. And this is made with a fresh avocado and crab paste with a crab extract. Add some salt. And light color soy sauce. It's good to show you. And this is cornstarch. We call it katakuriko. And adding a cornstarch will help to retain its shape. Mix well. Add egg, which is tamago. I'm going to use sesame oil,、uh, which is goma abura. Make a bowl shape. 
because I'm using tofu, it's very soft. I'm just going to stir fry them until they are golden brown. I'm going to make a sauce in the pan. I'm going to add rice wine, which is Nihonshu or sake. Add sweet rice wine, which is Honmiri. Honmiri will add light sweetness and also luster or shininess. We call it teri to the dish. This is light color soy sauce, which is usuki to show you. I could use just regular uh, soy sauce, but I don't want to make it too dark. So I use the light soy sauce. You see that because of the home medium, they are shiny. So this is like uh, teriyaki. Next, I'm going to make an uh, omelet uh, with a fresh tomato. Slice the tomato, take out the seeds, and cut them into small pieces. Add two eggs, add brown sugar, which is soseto. I'm going to add the chicken stock powder, which is acid free, and condensed white dashi, made with a dried shiitake mushroom, dry kelp, dry bonito, and light color soy sauce. Rice oil, which is kome abura. Mix well. Put everything into the pan. Mix a little bit. When they are cooked halfway, I'm just going to flip them into the shape of an uh, omelette. And I think inside it's still raw. I'm going to steam a little bit. After steaming for 10 minutes or so, I'm going to wrap them into kitchen paper to take out any moisture. Now I'm going to stir fry the winged beans. And they have this uh, star shape. and has no bitter taste to it so my kids uh, likes these vegetables I'm adding uh, rice oil and uh, butter add toasted uh, white sesame seeds for extra crunchiness and flavor and add bonito flakes we call it katsuobushi Katsuobushi will add a lot of umami to the dish. And finally, I add soy sauce, which is shoyu. This is the regular dark soy sauce. And this is done. I'm going to cut omelette with a fresh tomato. They are cooled down a little bit and moisture is taken out. And the rice with the salmon and the young ginger is ready. I'm going to just cut the skin and mix well. And this is done. Now I'm going to put everything into bento box. First I add rice and they are still hot. So I'm going to cool it down a little bit. 
now everything is ready, I'm going to put it into bento box. You see that I'm making uh, too much for just one bento, but I just cannot uh, make a small amount of dish. So we end up eating them for breakfast or dinner as well. This is leftover from dinner. This is a salad with the sesame dressing. And this is done. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you give a try. Maybe rice with uh, salmon and ginger. And if you cannot access to a young ginger, just use the mature ginger, but use one third of what I used. And it should be fine as well. And salmon is a good choice because I think many people like salmon because I think they are not, they don't have much fishy smell, I think. So please give it a try. And if you have any question, please let me know in a comment. I will try to reply. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye.